your health lies in your hands. If you don't take care of your health now, somewhere down the road you'll be handing your health over to somebody else and it'll be out of your hands. You will always know your body better than anybody out there, and I'm talking alternative health care practitioners, functional doctors, and definitely mainstream doctors. Just tune in and know yourself. And if you need to know how to do that, hey, that's one of my favorite things to teach. So you just go in down there. Let me know. Contact me. And we'll talk about how to get you in tune with your body. So you hear the messages coming at you nonstop. Because they are. And when you know how to listen, oh my goodness, your whole life will change quite dramatically. Something really critical to do. Be sure you're up and moving every day. Obviously, some people can move better than others. But whatever you can do, you got to do it. you got to push yourself to it. Because the more time you spend not moving, the more time you spend saying, it hurts too much, I can't do it, the more you're going to limit yourself. Your muscles need to work so that they can stay strong. Uh, one of my favorite ways to move is the metabolic renewal program that I've mentioned to you in the past, but interestingly, I've seen it popping up all over the internet now. It's made especially for women because our hormones are different. Those are high intensity workouts, 15 minutes, and always accommodating you whatever your level is. All the other exercise programs out there, did you know they're made? for men in their early 20s who are already in good shape. No wonder a woman's body doesn't quite transform the right way. So you want to do something that's exercise. And if you're a man, I've got plenty of programs that I was doing before metabolic renewal came along for women. I've got plenty to recommend for you guys. I always enjoy doing them. There it's are. important to get up and get going. I remember when I was a teenager and I got so sick, I had to drop out of college. And when I went home and my bubby saw me and she said, these were the words that she always used, you gotta get to yourself. You can't lie around. You've gotta get up and get going. Now, that's a philosophy that apparently is used in China. When you're sick, you don't lie around and fetch about it. You get up and you get going. No matter how I feel, I get up and I get going. And that's what makes me feel better because I'm sending a message to my brain, to my mind, to my body. Yo, this is life. We're not going to watch it pass us by. You want to be sure you're moving every day. And one thing to do that you can do right in place. You want to just do a march. So, sorry, you're not seeing. I'm just lifting my feet up and putting them down. And if you could do it faster, somebody might think you have to go to the bathroom. That's okay. Because what that's doing is moving the lymph up. Circulating your lymphatic system, which you need for health. So if you can do that for at least 10 minutes, you're going to be helping yourself immensely. You're going to notice a difference in how you feel because once you got your lymphatic system working right, everything's going to feel noticeably better. Melly Beerman, you'll find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.